excuse my molds, they're messy from the last video that I made. But before we get started, I just wanted to mention it's very important when you're using a mold to do a double-sided freshie, your mold has to be symmetrical. So it needs to be the same on both sides. This one, as you can see, is not. So if it's like this one, what's gonna happen is when you pull your first side up and you go to flip it over to press it onto your second side, it's not going to line up in your mold. So that being said, your mold, yes, it does have to be symmetrical. So you're always going to start by first measuring out your beads. So you're gonna take your scented beads, pour them into your mold just as you usually would. So now you know how many beads you need, and now I'm just going to add the mica to color them all the same color. Now that I have my mica added, I'm gonna go ahead and pour in a little bit less than half. I'm gonna go a little bit less than halfway full. Now this is how I'm gonna bake. Now that I've baked this first side, I'm gonna go ahead and use this little baby spoon, this little silicone baby spoon to smush the beads down so that I get all of the details of the mold. Now I'm gonna let this cool completely. Now that this is completely cooled, we're gonna go ahead and pop it out. And you can set this piece aside. Now I'm just going to pour the remaining beads into the mold and level them out as much as possible. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the oven. So once this side comes out of the oven, you don't wanna give it any time really to cool down. You can very quickly smush your beads down to get some of the design, but you wanna make sure that you're getting this side on as quickly as possible. The more the melted your beads are, the, the better this will adhere together. And then you're just gonna smush it down, applying a generous amount of pressure to make sure that everything is touching really well and laying flat. Now I'm gonna just give the sides of my mold a quick squeeze and I'm doing it very quickly because it is very hot and I'm trying not to burn my fingers, but I'm just making sure that there's no lip between my faces. All right, and then you're just gonna let that completely cool. Now that this is completely cooled, it can be taken out of the mold and it is ready to decorate. Do a double cardstock. We're going to start once again by measuring how many beads we'll need by filling the cutter to the top and then adding the mica to the beads. Now that I've added my color, I'm just going to choose one of my cardstocks. It does not matter which one you start with. So I'm going to lay my cutter down. And then I'm going to place my cardstock. I'm 
going to pour my beads into about halfway full. And now I'm gonna bake. So once it's out of the oven, you don't wanna go too crazy, but um, go around and push some of the edges down slightly. This will help to minimize the gaps um, in the seam when you put them together. You can also trim it a little bit after you take it out of the cutter. Once it's cold and you take it out of the cutter, if there's any edges that need to be trimmed, you can go ahead and do that. But I'm just gonna kinda make sure that the surface is relatively flat. So it sits flush against the other side. And then I'm just gonna let this one cool. Now that this one is cooled, I'm just going to peel it up off of the mat and pop it out of the cookie cutter. And now I'm gonna go around, I'm just gonna trim any that are sticking up really high, any of the little peaks. See, now that I have that trimmed, it's all very even and we're gonna set this aside. Now I'm gonna take my cookie cutter and I'm gonna take the other piece of cardstock. And this is really important when you're using the cookie cutters. You're gonna to wanna to bake the second side. So the side that's still gonna be hot when you press them together. You wanna flip your cookie cutter over and bake with it upside down. This is important because typically around this top rim of a cookie cutter, it's slightly smaller than the sharp side. So when you go to push this in, you're gonna struggle a lot more to get it to fit. So if you bake it upside down, this will slide in much easier because this hole is the same size, whereas this side, it's, it's a little bit smaller than what you've already baked. So important to flip your cookie cutter upside down and place the cardstock and pour in the remaining amount of beads. And then of course, even them out and flatten them down. And bake. Okay, now straight out of the oven, you wanna take the first side that you made and smush it down into the cutter, making sure that you're pressing firmly to stick all areas together. And now you're just gonna let that cool. Now that this is cooled, you can go ahead and pop it out of the cookie cutter. And now you have your double-sided cardstock freshie um, ready to go just to put the hook in and decorate any other way that you would like. We're gonna start this one like the others by filling our cutter all the way to the top with beads. And now I've decided I wanna do something a little bit different uh, when decorating this one, kind of going for a very specific design. So I'm actually gonna take these and split them into two separate colors and I'm gonna use even amounts for both. So I have my two colors ready to go and I'm going to start by pouring all of one color into my cutter. And then spreading the beads out evenly. And 
now I'm gonna go ahead and bake. Now it's out of the oven. I'm just gonna go around and gently press down, focusing a lot on the edges. Um, I'm not putting a whole lot of pressure on this. Just kind of evening things out, pushing the edges down a bit. And then I'm gonna let this completely cool. Now that this is cooled, I'm just going to peel it off and pop it out of the cutter. And I'm gonna set this aside. So the important part here is again to flip your cutter over. You want it to be upside down when you're baking the second side. Now I'm gonna fill it with my second color of beads. I'm going to even them out and then I'm gonna go ahead and pop this in the oven. While the second side is baking, I did go and trim up the edges just to clean it up and give it a really flat surface so that when we press them together, it can adhere evenly all the way around without running into any edge bumps or things of that nature. Now fresh out of the oven, you can go around and lightly press some of the edges down but don't spend too much time doing this because you want your beads to be as hot as possible so when you put this piece in, they stick together really nicely. And then you're just gonna take your first side, place it inside the cutter and squish it down, making sure to get all around the edges so both pieces are nice and secure. And then you're just gonna let that cool. Now that this one is cooled completely, it's time to go ahead and remove it from the cutter. And now it's ready to decorate.